There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but... I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard. And every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. In the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. Now these storms just raging, right? and we're driving out the burbs to cap this guy. The street lights weren't so good, so we're driving in the dark. We get to the house, and we're about to make our move. And then there's this lightning flash, and for a split second, in the front yard, I see this head just sitting there, staring, cut off at the neck. Nah, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. Yes, the guy had more than his share of enemies. They never found the body. Bullshit. God's truth. Hey, Tommy. You good? Yeah. Wet, but good.
Thanks for waiting, Tom. But Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when f -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been w working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to Tom. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it, Sarah, later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> 
You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your P.E.K.K.A. get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Someone's been waiting here. Night. The guy we pay to keep this place in check don't even pretend to farm now. Place is derelict. Time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Get some cover! Get over here now! It's right on! Polly, what took you so long? We're looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. 
Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. They're cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. They've lost having a few needles with just the cats. Canadians. See Sam in there? No. <sighs> like some. Poor bastards.
boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within 100 yards. Except us. Jesus, what have they done to you? I got clipped. Bryce has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, no, I don't think he's up. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, hmm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we have. Right here, Sam. 
There's some ammo and a Thompson back there somewhere. When they pull in behind you, blast them down. Just don't let them get past us.
We did it. Okay, we're here. Tell him. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam. Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. This is three, I owe you. What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the Doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. We'll be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight.